Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts with words of encouragement. I feel led by God to read John chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye you know. Well, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are comforting words. Very comforting. But I want to share something with you, you guys. We talk about death as, as if it is the worst thing that could happen. And I know that as human beings, loving human beings, we don't want to see that happen. But if we truly and honestly believe those words that Jesus said, then our hearts should not be troubled. If we understood the gateway of death and how it leads into eternal life, into the presence, the very presence of God Almighty, all of his heavenly angels, his son, the, 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 oh my goodness, the magnificence, the beauty of heaven. I can't even come up with the words that must describe how beautiful the experience is. Then why would we want to hold somebody back from experiencing that? Unless we really don't believe it. And let me tell you, you guys. I believe with all my heart that it is true that, that people of God don't really taste death. I really believe that. You ever change a channel, any of you who are as old as I am or older? You remember the televisions where you turn the knob, click, 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 and every time you change the channel, the image is different, the program is different, or you hit the remote. Yeah, that'll hit you guys for now. You hit the remote and the program is different. You're, you're, you're surfing, trying to see what you want to see, channel surfing. Well, guess what? Imagine blinking as quick when the Bible says, in the twinkling of an eye. Imagine how quickly you blink. You blink quicker than a second. Do you know that? And guess what? When you blink, imagine that as soon as your blink is complete, you're in a whole different realm. Your reality is different. Your dimensions are different. The whole imagery is different. You're in a whole different location. Imagine death being just that simple and painless. You know, the pain doesn't come in dying, you guys. And I'm not trying to be morbid with this subject. I'm trying to get you to see how God can make it a beautiful experience. I watched my father die, and all he did was exhale. He didn't struggle. He didn't jerk. He didn't rattle and roll and holler and scream and terror. He just blinked, and he exhaled. And he looked like he was sleeping and snoring and just as peaceful and restful as could be. My husband, on the other hand, he did not struggle. I want to make that clear. He didn't struggle. But I, God gave me a vision. And this really matched his personality, too. God gave me a vision that my husband put his arms up on the handles of the chair, and he just pushed himself and got up. That's the way he passed away. Now, I was asleep. But the hospice nurse that was watching him in his bedroom while I was upstairs in my bed <laughs> told me that he 
opened his eyes wide. He looked up and he got, he looked like he was getting ready to get up. And then he just leaned back and went to sleep. What must he have seen? He looked so peaceful. I couldn't stop kissing him. He looked so pretty asleep. Now, yes, of course, we all go through mourning. We holler, we scream, we kick and do all of that. But not as those with no hope. Do you believe the word of God or do you not? I'm telling you, you guys, there are too many people who have had that experience of going to heaven and coming back to tell about it. There are too many for us to actually want to dismiss it as a fantasy or a psych job. And guess what? Just, just, just in case, I'm saying this for the doubtful ones. What if there is not? What if there is not a heaven or hell? Would you prefer that your loved one stay here and writhe in agony? Do you really think that that's what they want to do? Some of you people are so full of, 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 what you, of what used to be that you're not looking at reality. And if you really love the loved one that's laying in that hospital bed, writhing or hurting, and can't communicate because they're in a coma. Do you really believe that's what they want? Would you want that if it were you? You see them laying there with tears streaming down to the back of their head because they can't communicate. But they want out. They want out so bad. But no, you're going to keep them here. What do you think that is? That's what you call torture. When it's time, enable yourself, pray for it, whatever. Let them go. Don't punish them. Let them go. If you love them, you will let them go. Please, release them from the torture. Release them from, that is not a, 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 a way of life that you would want for yourself. Release them. Amen. Put it in God's hands. Put them in God's hands. Trust him enough to leave them there. Come what may.